Making these chicken nuggets, about to fuck this shit up. I need to go to bed, but I don't give a fuck. Hey y'all, welcome back to another drunk discussion with your girl Taylor Mays. <laughs> so, tonight, first of all, I have been drinking Saza, personal favorite. Shout out to Stay Real, and shout out to Sierra Capri, my, my girls for life, love you guys. Been drinking that with a little bit of cranberry juice and some limes. Pretty, feeling pretty good right about now. So, tonight I want to talk about why I am not allowed to have guy friends. Okay? <laughs> Let me take a sip for this because this is going to be a doozy. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to address about guy friends. First of all, if you're a really cool, bomb type of female like moi, they're gonna catch feelings. Like, they sometimes don't know how to differentiate how, look, I'm just trying to be here for you because we're friends and the, uh, oh, she must want me. They don't, they don't, they don't, they do not. That's number one right there. They do not know how to differentiate and they have maybe more feelings than us. Okay, so that's that. The second thing that I want to talk about is these niggas is always trying to fuck. Okay, always. A lot of these dudes don't care what you look like, what you got going on. All they care about is you got tetas and you got a chocha. They ready to plow right through that. They don't care whether you look like the fucking grasshoppers off of Buzz Life. None of that. They're going to be trying to hop right in your grass. Up in that nest. Yes. So that was number two. Tres is going to be how even though they seem like they're your friends, like I said, they'll still try to fuck you. They don't care. Your friends will be in a group together talking about how they smash you inboxing about how they fuck you they'd give you that pickle they'd give you that stick they want to let you take a ride and spin around on a downtown <laughs> is that nice no is it fair no is it sexist hell yeah because who said i want to fuck any of you niggas but me personally i just don't care because i know how to say no and i also know how to cuss a nigga out until so i don't get the fuck out of my face I really do. No passive aggressive or bitch in my blood. I'm aggressive aggressive and I will tell you about yourself one way or the other or you gonna just know cause I'm gonna be like mm, having an attitude every time you talking to me. You gonna know you did something guilty ass. <laughs> uh, Lord. All right, so number four. <laughs> Going to be jealous partner. Y'all dudes be having girlfriends and your girlfriends be feeling hella insecure. I'm not gonna speculate on why, but they be feeling hella insecure and then not okay with you having a female friend. Now, if you're not okay with that, one, you need to ask yourself why you're not okay with your partner being around the opposite sex. That's one. Two, maybe you should really have a talk with your partner about how you really feel instead of having an attitude and seeing what you don't like and what you're not going to tolerate and all other shit. Like, maybe y'all should sit down and really have a hard heart. I mean, because let me tell you. <laughs> my daddy just went to go see my mom's best friend in Florida. And she has a man. And she did not tell him my dad was staying down there. Which is fucking stupid. Whatever. But she didn't tell him. So, my dad came. He was around him, like, the first night, second night. My dad goes to the gym, she comes to pick him up, and she tells him, oh yeah, well, such and such don't want you staying here. 
and basically kicked my dad out. So you kicked my dad out over some dick and they have been friends for at least 40 years. You talking about 40 years for a piece of shit ass nigga? Are you serious? For some dick? Are you serious? Like, See, I don't have time for that. I, I also don't have time for my male friends to be choosing vagina over me when I've been here, when I have been riding out for you and having your back and sticking up for you. I feel like that shit is some hogwash and I can't get down with that vibe. But then again, not everyone is like moi and I need to really remember that. So number five. Every time, well not every time, but three out of five of my relationships, my boyfriend has always been jealous of my male friends. And regardless of all the other shit on the side, because I know men know what other men are trying to do. Like, if I'm dealing with you, I only want to deal with you. I don't really give a fuck about what anybody else thinks or wants because you're not about to get me. I'm not about to entertain you. I'm not about to slide and shit. I'm a snitch. Well, I'm not a snitch snitch, don't, don't get me fucked up. But like, if I'm in a relationship and you're like, my my friend or my man's friend or something, I'm gonna tell, leave me alone. I don't give a fuck, I don't got no secrets. I don't got no secrets, I don't got nothing to hide. I'm gonna tell. I'm just not here for that, like. But I just feel like, if you can't trust me to be myself and be around other men, why are you with me? Like, that's crazy because you're not about to control me. I'm not a female that can be controlled. So you're not about to do that. But like, I am also trustworthy and faithful. So like, don't act like that, especially if you know me. Because if you act like that, I'm feel like you don't know me and you need to work on a few things and I'd rather be by myself. <laughs> okay. Okay, so. <laughs> this is also a problem I have. And this goes for friendships. Um, my man, his girl, this random girl, random dudes hit me up. <laughs> Niggas always where you fucking your friends. I had somebody ask me if I was fucking one of my friends because we posted a picture together on Instagram and I said, are you fucking kidding me? That's just my friend. Like, I didn't know I wasn't allowed to have male friends. I didn't know y'all was that insecure. I didn't know you were going to be tripping. And I'm looking like, who are you to trip anyway? Because you're nothing to me. If we're not... <laughs> anything why are you even in my frame talking shit like don't ask me about shit it doesn't matter but like i said like you should trust me if you're dealing with me i don't have time to deal with anybody that doesn't trust me i don't trust not for no relationship i don't i don't got time i don't got time for nothing bullshit not 2020 not 2020 mm -mm. like <laughs> I also had a friend that uh, once had one of my other friends over here. Look, we're all friends. Like, we're all friends. The one friend and the other friend. My one friend's here. The other friend all like, I want you going over there to smash. Do you not know me? Who am I smashing? I'm not fucking anybody. What the fuck are you talking about? No Detroit smash. No United States smash. None of that shit. Get the fuck out of my face. Before I fucking Dakota smash you, bitch. Like, fuck you talking about? So I'm just like, all right, like that's some real wild shit. And look, they come to find out for that, he and his feelings. Cause he won't fuck with me, okay? It's nice to want things. People in hell want ice water, but guess what? They ain't getting it. Fucking tripping about me going out on dates and shit, wanna know where I'm going. Like, mind your fucking business. Don't you have your own little situation over here? Let me do me. Don't ever check up on me and catch up on me like that. It's not your fucking business. Like, I might be your business cause we're friends, but like, you have a guest pass to an extent don't pass it because then i'm gonna cuss you the fuck out every fucking chance i get because i'm not gonna forget how the fuck you was acting so yeah like that's for that jealous and tripping like i've had that jealousy and tripping from people that are just my friends from my boyfriends from like their girlfriends or just their ho that hoes are trying to holler just random people like, oh, I ain't trying to fuck with you because you got a lot of hoes. I'm looking like I ain't doing nothing. Like, I go on strike all the time, y'all. Like, I'll have sex once and go on strike for eight months. I don't care. I'm ready three feet deep. Not fucking nobody. That's three months if you ain't catch that. 
I ain't messing with nobody. I ain't touching nobody. I ain't sucking no dick. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't messing with no girls. None of that shit. Like, I'm chilling. I am focused on moi. And there's nothing wrong with that. People act like something wrong with that. Just like people act like it's something wrong with being 27, 26, 28, and you ain't got no kids. I ain't want no kids early, bitch. If I have kids, I'm going to have kids when I'm in my early 30s, like my mama did with me and my brother. I'm okay. With me figuring out who I am, what I want to do fully to the extent and getting my whole life together and having my fun while I still can. There's nothing wrong with it. Sorry, that was a sidebar, but back on subject. My biggest problem that I have with this type of thing is you do not care how I feel, huh? Like, you don't. You don't. I tell you I don't like when you act like this when I'm doing this and then you just fucking keep on doing it anyway. I'm really the type of person who's only going to tell you something once. I might give you a second chance, but you ain't getting no third. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me the third time. <laughs> Fuck the peace sign. <laughs> on the chopper and put that claim on you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like, I don't got time for that. Like, But still, like, I, I feel like... When y'all are in groups talking about how you will fuck her and you would do this and for y'all don't even consider how she might feel. None of that. Like, just what you want all the time. Like, and that leads into me saying how, like I said, I'm not afraid to put anybody in their place. If I feel disrespected, I'm going to speak up. Closed mouth do not get said. And like I said, if I tell you and then you do it again, you clearly have no regard for me and you don't give a fuck. And it's crazy, but that's people for you. <coughs> Asshole. <coughs> <laughs> right. So look. Now let me go into this. Besides me having to snap on you, especially if I got snapping you in public, I hate, hate snapping on people in public. But if I have to, I will. Cause you're not gonna be embarrassing me. No. <laughs> I'm not for that embarrassment. Do not embarrass me, especially not in public. Please. Putting my hands on one of my friends or somebody that I love is like one of the last things I want to do. But if I have to do it to get you in line, I will, okay? Because me above everything, I'm not taking nobody's shit in 2020 and I mean that. Friend or not, you get cut the fuck off. But yeah, those are my reasons why I can't have guy friends. But sadly, I don't connect with a lot of females on like, being like a close friend level because a lot of these females be tripping but i'm hoping i'm hoping and wishing i can meet a nice bunch of females that i can go out and have a good time when we can all vibe and uplift and be great together and smile like that's the best thing ever i'm really hoping so having male friends is fun but like they don't relate to you on a lot of levels and they always want to fuck you it never leaves <laughs> but yeah like i said those are my reasons why I can't have guy friends. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Holla at you, girl. Hi. Again, for them hard times when I need a friend, need a plan, or I need a hand. I roll it up and just like the bus, your boy get fly. Need a pen and I can roll it up. Either hand, blunt big, him and them. No seeds, only the weed. I be around the trees, Timberlands, and the hell's boost my adrenaline for them hard times that I'm living in. And homie, you.